Hi, this is Faith and this is the Faith Walks channel where the pathways of faith are limitless. Today, I'm going to be doing a video featuring Tarte Shape Tape. It is my very first time using this product and this is just some new stuff that I got during quarantine. So this is part two of new quarantine makeup. Um, if you want to see how I like this product, then keep on watching. All right, like I said in the start of the video, I am doing a video featuring new makeup or new to me. I am using Tarte Shape Tape. It's my first time ever in life using it. So, um, one of the ways that was recommended to me to use um, Tarte Shape Tape, um, my sister is like a huge fan of their um, using it under the eyes or under her eyebrow to um, highlight the brow bone area. And so what I'm going to do is do my eyebrows really quick and then, um, yeah, we'll conceal. So um, the way I start off with, um, yeah, there we go. The way I start off my eyebrows is I just powder them down uh, because I have an oily face. Um, I have, um, I'm saying I'm a lot, but I'm, I'm sorry about that. But I have moisturized and all that good stuff. I haven't primed my face yet, but it's moisturized and everything. And so I'm not really going for an eyeshadow look today. So I'm going to use the concealer also to conceal my um eyelids but yeah i just powder them i guess it's baking them yeah i bake my eyebrows um but but that's before i apply the brow product and then i'm just gonna do my eyebrows my eyebrows are going growing in nicely y'all y'all when i tell you i was like itching to record it was dumb like itching because I wanted to record yesterday and, and everything but I just got caught up doing nothing for real I got caught up doing nothing and then I ran to the grocery store I had to get a couple things you know um but I'm trying to stay in as much as I can but I went to the grocery store and I was just shocked at how many people were there like it was dumb like I felt so uncomfortable like dumb uncomfortable i was like i need to get back in the house asap like it was just too many people out there you know with the you know when they say that things are going to be closed or you know we're quarantining we need to get more stringent and then everybody and their mama is out there shopping and me being one of them you know i'm not helping the problem but um I mean, it's not a problem to go grocery shopping, but good grief. I was just like, but y'all just let me know down in the comments how y'all doing. Like, are y'all okay? Because <laughs> I see this is real, okay? Yeah, I'm definitely going to need to clean up on this eyebrow. But yeah, I was just. You know, I went to the grocery store yesterday and everything, and I made it. I just prayed, you know, tried to use the hand sanitizer, washed, you know, tried not to touch my face while I was in there. All this stuff, you know, just trying to use wisdom. Um, in addition to prayer and everything. Um, but honey, I was done. I was done with that store. But yeah, I was just itching to film today because I really wanted to film yesterday but um i just let myself run out of time before i went to the grocery store and i was like i'll just do it tomorrow and now i'm like just fiending it's so bad um but yeah so yeah i'm i'm keeping it simple like maybe i need to eat or something or i'm going stark raving mad being in the house but y'all i just had to get on here so um I'm going to go in, 
I have the Tarte Shape Tape. It comes in purple box. Purple is my favorite color. But I got it. What shade is this? Yeah. Tan Deep Sand. My sister uses Medium Sand. Um, But that's... I was nervous to do that. That's a little light for me. Just a little light. Um, or I think it's light. Like, I might be just hesitating because I'm scared. So... And then I also purchased Deep Sand. Um, I just went off some references that I saw from people that are like my shade twins. And I tried to go with that. I'm going to go under my brow with Tan Deep Sand. And I'm trying to decide if I'm going to do... Oops. I'm just putting it on this brush. Y'all, this is actually a paintbrush. I sanitized it. My husband had bought some paintbrushes for... Some project he was doing. I was like, um, I could use those. So, yeah. Um, just make sure I angle everything. It's a long handle brush, so that's the only thing. But I hope y'all can see me. Let me not go so low. Or I might lift my, my mirror up so you guys can see me apply. Y'all, I brushed my edges down before I started, but they reverted. So that's not, yeah, that's good. For under the eyebrow, that's a good shade. I'm also going to use this um, to highlight under my eye after I apply my foundation. I think I'm going to use this one all over my eyelid. Or maybe mix the, um, yes, look at that cut. Mm. That is nice. That is very nice. See that? Mm hmm. I like, now y'all know if you, maybe if you see me as I progress on this channel, um, I loved doing my eyebrows after foundation. But and however, my thoughts on that has been changing. Like, I'll do it sometimes, like, when I'm in a rush. I feel like it's my my routine is faster when I do my foundation um, first before eyebrows. But, y'all, when, look at this. Ah! Mm, thank you. I'm so excited. So, um, but I like how defined my eyebrows look when I do them before foundation. Yes. Okay. The Snatchery eyebrows are, I try to do everything even as much as I can, but, but, oh, sorry, y'all. But that doesn't always happen. But yeah. Okay. But yeah, you see that under eye? I like it. I I have must say I agree with her with this under eyebrow highlight. And it's light, but it's not too light. Um, I'm just I'm not doing a serious um I look today. I'm really gonna I'll probably put my lashes on at the end. There we go. But um on top though. I'm going to go in with deep sand. Almost picked up the wrong one again. But I'm going to go in with deep sand. And I'm going to use the same brush from my press. Yes, I know I just did a lot just there. <laughs>
Okay. All right. That color is a great color. Because That color is a great color. It um blends in with my skin very well. And you want it so that when you put your foundation on, you don't really have to go close to your eyebrows to touch them. And you're, you know, still have coverage. And honey, the coverage is there. All right. Yes. I like it, y'all. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to go in and get started with my face so that we can get to the um under eye situation. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with primer. Um, go in with primer really quick. This is the um, Makeup Revolution Hydrating Primer Serum. It's the Hydra Matte Primer. I like this one a lot. I really do. Normally, I like to prime my face, though, before I do my eyebrows. But I just did what I did, and it is what it is. But, yeah, y'all tell me what you guys are doing to keep busy and, you know, Keep your mind off of the craziness. I'm not going to like crazy prime. I'm just going to use this. Ooh, what am I trying to do? Oh, what top are you trying to put on it? All right. And then I really like I'm not lately. I've really been enjoying um, my skin not being so. Uh, matte, you know, um, in the sense of I'm, I'm oily. I am very oily, but I, I've really been enjoying going in with the no pore bloom, um, touch and sole smoothing, smooth and pore covering. It's top secret for perfect makeup. I don't think you guys have seen me use this on my channel. So I guess this is new to you, but I didn't um, buy it. Old. I put this over my um my huge pores so we have no pore bloom, honey. Okay. Put it in here. This area has just been dry. Uh, and then I just have some areas that are just dry, you know. Um, but I've been enjoying not being so 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 matte, like my foundation finish looking somewhat radiant even though i'm about to do use a um, matte foundation it's cool um i'm just gonna show you guys a little hack that um i learned from tiktok and in the tiktok it says to moisturize your face set your moisturizer with powder and then prime but ain't then that's not gonna work for me i tried that um but I don't prefer that way. I prefer to um, moisturize, prime, and then set my foundation with the powder. And then you set it with a, well, we'll see in just a second, won't we? But I use to um, set my foundation as a translucent powder, the Milani Medium to Deep. That's the top, so you can see it. But it's like, like this is the color of the powder. I really like it because it gives me more coverage. Meantime, I'm setting what I just did over top of my brows too. But um, it gives me more coverage. And um, it just really sets in the foundation. It's it's really good to use for this. I'm 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 loving it. I actually got um the idea to use this powder from too much mouth. She's a I'm just looking at myself, y'all. I'm sorry. But I got it from too much um, mouth here on uh, YouTube. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Y'all don't know, like, I'm just so much 
energy. I have so much energy because of how excited I was to film today. Like, it's done. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, then I'm going to go in with the Gerard Cosmetics Slate All Day. I finally found this. Y'all know I love this. And I had lost it for a minute, but it was in a purse that it probably shouldn't have been in the purse. So, I'm just going to spray my face. That's a part of the TikTok hack. I love this part. This is the part that changed the game, okay? I'm going to go in with a foundation. It's the Revolution Conceal and Define. It's not my favorite foundation, but every foundation I've used after I've used this hack look comes out looking amazing it makes this makes your face it's the setting spray mixed with the primers that you use and oh my god just wait now you have to let this completely dry that's what she says so we can skip ahead to the drying process if you want. I don't have my fan with me. I don't think it's charged. But you just let this dry. Let everything, it's almost like everything sinks in and creates that barrier um, that your skin needs um, in order to um, really allow that foundation to shine the way it's supposed to, you know? Like, look at my skin already. Look at my skin already. And, if, oh my gosh. I love the smell of that. Um, <laughs> Y'all, I'm a mess when I tell you. My eyebrows are looking good, honey. They're looking good. Okay. Okay, it's dry. It is dry enough for me, okay? All right. I'm going in with the Conceal and Define. Hopefully, it doesn't make me look orange. Just, I'm using 14.5. Or hopefully, it's not too deep. If it is, I'm. it's a little orange, but it's okay. If it is, I will just... Ooh. <laughs> that was a glock. Okay, go in with a sponge. Ugh, already, I'm telling you, y'all, this hack is amazing. See this? Do you see how smooth this foundation is not known for the smoothing effect, but when you put that setting spray on top of that primer, But when you put that foundation on top of the primer that's been set, it just gives me so much life. It's dumb how much life it gives me. I become very excited. And I'm not going to have to use too much. I might not even use any more foundation. Look at that. Look at that. Look how smooth that is. On top of that, speaking of smooth or smooth skin, y'all make sure you check out my um, skincare routine because as you can see, my skin is clearing up. And I want to add, you know, as a bonus for you guys checking out my video today, um, what I've been doing some more lately is putting... I make sure I bring it down just a little bit. But I've been making sure that and put it on my ear too. I've been putting after my whole routine is finished, I add coconut oil, refined. No, I'm sorry, not refined, unrefined, unrefined, cold press, organic coconut oil on my face. I use that. And that helps me my face so much you know and i'm 
like definitely see your esthetician and see what they say. And I know people have opinions about it. It works for me and I use it. Uh, I haven't heard anything negative from my dermatologist about it. Um, but I'm telling you that coconut oil in combination with what I've been doing. Look, this is the results. The results are here. Look at this. But this, look at that. Already, I, my face is doing so well. Okay, so oh, I'm just so excited. I did not have to use, it may have looked like I used a lot, but I really did not use a lot of foundation. Like, woohoo, hunty, hunty, okay. Oh, okay. I'm so excited. Okay. Next, going in with um my contour. I like to use my contour first because I go in with the hydrating um camo concealer by e.l.f. in the shade Rich Cocoa. Um, and I'm gonna go in with deep under my eye first. Okay. And I'm gonna see what kind of coverage it offers me. Deep. Yeah, deep is decent. Is that a crazy highlighting color? And then I'm gonna go in with tan deep sand. So that was deep sand. I'm going with tan deep sand over top. And I'm just gonna put that in that inner area. And a little bit of the lighter one on the nose and over the mouth. And here. Can't help it. Just a dot. Okay. All right. Then I'm gonna blend in my contour. All right. Before, I don't know how this concealer is, so I'm gonna go in and blend. Oh wow! Blends very easily. I'm just gonna go in over here, cut the cheek a little bit. Okay. Just to give it, I try to give my concealers enough time to dry down just a little bit. So it looks like either, I don't think I was moving too fast, but it doesn't dry down super fast. As far as coverage, what do you guys think? I'm thinking more medium. Medium to full. And you probably can build it up more. But I'm really liking how this is blending. I'm going to add some to my eyelid. But yeah, it's very natural. And it's not too drying. Not too matte. Uh, under my eyes, my under eye is dry. Definitely dry. I'm like, I got oily, 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 oily for days. But that matte section will be always be under my eye. My under eye. This is so pretty. Okay. Wow, I really like how that blended out a lot. I think I just want to add a dot more of the tan deep sand. Okay. 
just for a little bit of highlighting, a little bit more highlighting. Oops. Oh, wow. See, again, it just blends out so nicely. I'm loving it. All right. Just staring at myself. This is pretty, y'all. Pretty. Very natural look. Very natural. We are looking good. And also, too, that also plays into the priming aspect. Already. And this is no powder or anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my under eye and do all of that. And then I'm going to come back with my final thoughts. With my final thoughts. All right. I am back with the finished look. Y'all, oh, I'm really feeling this. I didn't put any lashes on. I just used the Maybelline um, Falsies Lash Lift Mascara. And, like, what do y'all think? I literally, for the eye look, like I said, I'm just going to put some bronzer up there. I did the bronzer. Like, we like we highlighted under brow bone. I really like how that's popping. I really do. Like, it's, it's so pretty. It's gonna blend it a little more so it's not harsh line. But like y'all, this is really pretty. There we go. Still apparent that it's highlighted, but I just wanted to blend. Blend, blend, blend. Blend, blend, blend. I gotta blend. I have to blend. I have to go back and blend sometimes. But anyways, um, this look is so natural. The highlight is so natural. And this, I really like how the um, concealer worked. I mean, it didn't break apart. It's smooth. It's not too matte. I don't know if it's meant to be matte or not. But... I have to read up on it. I'll let y'all know if it's a matte concealer or not. But it's not too matte. The formula blended out beautifully. Like, this is seamless. Seamless. It's highlighted where it needs to be highlighted. And, and the coverage was nice. Coverage was very nice. Um, I wouldn't say it's full, full, full. Because I've seen fuller. Like, the Pat McGrath. That's full, full. But this is giving me a nice medium coverage. A strong medium, strong medium. And it blended out like the blend though. That blend was beautiful. So I like it for under my eyebrows. It cut my eyebrows like no other. My hairs are unruly, but it cut them eyebrows. I really like it. It turned out well, y'all. Um, how y'all like this look though? She feeling cute. I'm, I'm wishing I could go somewhere. I'm going to go for a walk, though. Hmm. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, you guys tell me what you think of the concealer. What are your thoughts? Have you used it before? Let me know down in the comments. I like to chat with you guys. So um, make sure you put something down there. Also, please like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> could not say that. Subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit the notification bell so that you can know when I'm posting. Um, invite your friends to like my my um, channel as well and subscribe to my channel rather. Um, and follow me on Instagram. I'm faith underscore walks uh, with an S. So follow me there as well to see what I'm doing. And y'all, I have more coming for you guys. More videos, more makeup. More things coming down the pike. So make sure you stay tuned and see what I'm doing. All right. Love you guys. Mwah.
When we open, ain't it and we floating Going on adventures in the garden like I'm Solomon Cellular components go together as I run and spin Round or over that we get to know this guy Since I purged the negatives to see it Now we laminate, wreck them in the maker of this potent mixture